Hello and welcome to an episode of Historically Marked. I am in the heart of Santa Fe, which is generally referred to um, as the heart because I am at Santa Fe Plaza, which dates back to the 17th century. This is one of the oldest um, gathering spots here in the United States, and I'm also going to be showing you the Palace of the Governors, so there's going to be lots to see. So I'll just go ahead and show you around and read on. So I'm going to start with the center of it. Now they have closed this part down for various reasons, but on June 2nd, 2021, the City of Santa Fe's Arts Commission unanimously re recommended that a sign be placed in front of the obelisk with language from the chart resolution providing context to the obelisk and that it include a QR code linking to the chart webpage. So for centuries, this has become known as the play, the gathering place in town, as many know it as, again, the, Sa the heart of Santa Fe. It has grown into a playground for many tourists interested in Spanish, Native American, and Mexican cultures, including music, design, jewelry, art, and dance. It is home to annual events, including the Fiestas de Santa Fe, the Spanish Market, and the Santa Fe Indian Market. This was put on the National Register of Historic Places in 1966 and was a designated National Historical Landmark in 1960. It is part of the Santa Fe Historic District. Here's a monument dedicated to the annexation of New Mexico to the United States on August 19, 1846. General S.W. Kearney proclaimed the peaceable annexation of New Mexico on August 19, 1846. We come as friends to make you a part of the Republic of the United States. In our government, all men are equal. Every man has a, night, has a right to serve God according to his heart, erected by the Daughters of the American Revolution in 1901. So after the New Mexico Territory was established, a fence was built around this plaza to keep out animals. Trees were also planted and pathways were paved. A bandstand, which is that one, was added. And then we also had the Soldiers Monument, which I just um, showed you. And then after New Mexico became a state in 1912, not much has changed, but it still pays tribute to this day to all the cultures that have been part of Santa Fe, New Mexico. Across from Santa Fe Plaza is this um, National Historic Landmark, the heart of Santa Fe since its founding by Spanish colonial governor Don Pedro de Peralta in 1609-10. This public space was a terminus of El Camino Rio and the Santa Fe Trail. This site possesses national significance in commemorating the history of the United States of America, 1960. And just right across from the plaza is the Palace of the Governors, which is an adobe structure that dates back to 1610. However, some suggest it goes back to 1618. But nonetheless, it is the oldest continuously operated, I'm sorry, well, occupied public building in the United States. And there are two markers on here. Plus a couple additional ones, which I'll show you. This is known to be the place where Lou Wallace wrote the final parts of the, his book, Ben-Hur, A Tale of the Christ, in this building, while serving as territorial governor in the late 1870s. It wasn't until 2009 when the New Mexico History Museum um, was put in here. There is also a United States Postal Service stamp that was made the same year this was designated as a National Historic Landmark, which was in 1960. Now, I'm not really planning on going in because I don't really know what the opening and closing hours are, but here's uh, just a little thing about the cut stone facade and the markers right there showing um, all the exterior walls of the palace and then of course the sun-dried mud bricks which is called adobe 
All right, so here is a marker that talks about El Palacio Real. Fortress and castle built by order of the Spanish crown from 1610 to 1612. See the government under three flags, Spanish, Mexican, and American. From 1610 to 1910, the residence of over 100 governors and captains generals, the oldest public building in the United States. The Palace of the Governors, seat of the Museum of New Mexico, School of American Research and Historical Society of New Mexico, dedicated to the recovery, conservation, and display of the archaeology, ethnology, history, and art of the Southwest. The palace is a state monument. And between the markers, you can get a little view of the History Museum, but I'm not going to go in there today, unfortunately. But it would be nice to see, you know, the complete history of New Mexico. To the right of the building is this historical marker, site of Santa Fe's first chapel, demolished in 1714. I'm guessing it was like right here, right there. Doesn't say, but it was also used as a two-story defensive tower for Palace of the Governors during the 1600s. Okay, question answered. General Don Diego de Vargas was probably buried beneath the floor of this chapel in 1704. Interesting stuff. During the day, you will find plenty of artisans and um, jewelry makers that sell their stuff underneath this shelter, as I did earlier. Thanks so much for tuning into this episode of Historically Marked. I am Jason, just right between the Palace of the Governors and Santa Fe Plaza, between two very um, historical landmarks in the United States of America, here in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Signing off.